Well, when it comes to buying a new car, gadgets like blind spot monitoring, lane departure warnings, and emergency braking are becoming more and more common. Yes, they are, and these features increase driver safety, but as MTN's Medeiros Bab finds out, that safety comes at a price. Uh, it detects monitors. This is a 2016 Toyota Highlander that senses vehicles 150 feet away. Uh, front and rear. A&D Body Repairs has seen more and more cars with newer technology coming through the shop stores. It's always been a technology-based field, uh, but now it's just really focusing on that. But with the advancement in safety, there also comes an increase in cost. We get a lot of phone calls like, well, if it's over a couple hundred dollars, I'll probably turn it into insurance. We're seeing you can't get much of a repair for under a couple hundred dollars. According to AAA, for cars that have this technology, repairs for windshields cost close to $1,500. That's about three times the normal cost. Why? Because of all the calibration and labor that needs to take place. There's more things to, you know, sort of malfunction too and make sure that they're working correctly or to be, you know, damaged in a collision. This Subaru has EyeSight technology. The two cameras near the rear view mirror allow for automatic braking and lane assistance. The problem is that if the repairs are not done correctly, the safety features no longer work. So, you know, kind of one of two problems can happen. Either A, the um, system malfunctions and doesn't work properly, or B, it doesn't function correctly and does its job when it's not in an accident. Um, you know, braking, just driving down the road, something like that. Jarvis says to avoid this problem, owners should do their research and go to a trusted mechanic. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. AAA reports one-third of Americans can't spend more than $500 on vehicle repairs.